Great. Little short one first. On stepping on a spider. Oh. On the hot concrete path this morning, in an unintentional catastrophe of shoe leather, I stepped on a spider. No need to worry. There are plenty more where he came from. No! He was the only one of him. Oh. <laughs> and okay, this is the last one. A tractor McCabe walks her coweens. It's about a real person, although she's certainly not called a tractor McCabe. <laughs> <laughs> I have a shotgun hand up my arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trouble when you go over 70, you know. You start really thinking that you're 19. <laughs> Second adolescence is quite a long way from second childhood, so a tractor McKay walks her cowies. What a sky. Bluer than a robin's egg, hotter than lust. The gadflies rise in deltoid swarms, bent on sly scraffito as they try to spell out malice surreptitiously on the back of my unprotected neck. And in this glittering morning, heavy with the smell of meadow sweet and honeysuckle, a tractor McCabe walks her cowings slowly down the green boreen, swinging a piece of rubber hose in a leisurely imitation of the goddess. <laughs> Surround me, Bob! Heavy with the smell of meadow sweet and honeysuckle. Surround me with your hairy arms and squeeze. Forget any crawling jaws lurking in the grass. Brush off the little wings that sting. Bite the bullet of the morning. Here comes the milkmaid matron. Light as bog cotton, implacable as oak, as she breasts the warm boreen and helps her cows to draw the sun each day a little higher in the sky. A tractor McCabe walks her cowies slowly down the green boreen, swinging. In the hedge, even the honeysuckle holds its breath for a moment. 